and we're back at the Malbok Air Base <laughs> for day two. Uh, we just saw two Eurofighters take off at full afterburners, so I reckon they're going for an interceptor over the Baltic. It was really fun, but last year I was here during winter time, and this house, the, the owner uh, unfortunately passed away, and it was for sale, and me and Martin were talking about buying it and turning it into an Airbnb with a rooftop for people that can watch the airplanes take off, because literally, that's the start of the runway and where they land, or well, depending which way the, the wind blows, but usually they take off above Marburg and then they come into a landing here. So me and Lumi are gonna hang out until they come and land back down. Unless they're not coming back, but we're full afterburners. I don't think they're gonna survive a, lot, a long time in the air. But that's the NATO air policing air base in Marburg here tactical air base uh, and it's just a real apart from the jets it's a really quiet area because you're in the middle of the country and um, someone's already bought the house and there you can see they're renovating it last time I was here I'll see if I can drop a clip here but it was the roof was pretty much falling apart so they've got everything brand new now welcome to day two in Malborg I love being back here can you tell with the smile on my face? <laughs> See how quickly he took off? Look at him go up. We're gonna watch him land. Holy mackerel. Some cool fighter jets, hey, let me. Yeah. Now we're gonna go get Zapikanki. Uh, on my last vlog when I was here in Malbork, um, I went to the best Zapikanki in Malbork, and I still stand by this. I hope they are still the best. Actually, before I stand by this, I hope they are the best. So, the best Zapikanki in Malbork are in a bakery, which is called Varminska, and they sell out very fast. So, Varminska to get the best yeah. Zapikanki in Malbork. Sold out. We'll have to do it next time. We'll now go to the second best place in Malbork. 
Okay, we're gonna try this again. The second best Zapikanka is actually very close to the castle, which is right there. And it's over here, so kebab El Dorado. They got really awesome kebabs and really good Zapikankas. Not as good as Varminska, but they have, I've, well, I'll let you, Lumi judge, because she's the, uh, I think every Zapikanka is a good Zapikanka. <laughs> so let's get Lumi to judge it. You know, it looks like those ice cream yeah. with the crepes. <laughs> I'm having a I'm having a kebab and Lumi's having a proper zapikanka. Here we go. Look at that. That was awesome. How was it? Oh, mm -hmm. I How haven't tasted it? it properly. Wait. Wait. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm. Alright, zapikanka opinion. Yeah, it was good, but it needs to be more full. It needs like, to be more full. You know how pizzas have a lot of cheese? It needs to have more cheese. That's why we gotta go to Varminski next. We gotta go there early in the morning because they sell out super fast. All right, we're getting back in Marburg again. We're gonna have a look at the model castle that they've made here. Very cool how they built this. Hmm. Got an idea. Shifteriki? Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream. Yeah.